we're very interested in ways to treat inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel disease consists of two major entities, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And these are chronic relapsing remitting inflammatory diseases, often requiring the use of immunosuppressive drugs or even very expensive biologic therapies. It is uh, an incredibly insidious um, and life-restricting disease. Paul's colon is looking pretty good, so I'm reassured that the medication is probably working. It drastically affects uh, everything you do, from your work to your relationships um, and, uh, and lifestyle. Whilst it's out of control, you simply don't know what's going to happen. There's a long history and oral tradition as well as historical use of natural products for the treatment of inflammation in the gut. And we got particularly interested in the possibility that mollusks, which produce a variety of anti-inflammatory and anti-infective molecules, might be effective in this condition. We've looked at abalone, and we've basically looked at extracts from the whole animal to see what happens in mice. And what we've seen is that it's about 50% effective in controlling inflammation in our preclinical models, which is actually very comparable to some of the drugs that are used in today's uh, treatment algorithms. Within five days of the treatment, we actually started seeing drastic beneficial effect in this mouse model. So I was very excited as well as uh, surprised at the same time. I have to say that I was a little pessimistic that we might see it on our very first go, but we were delighted to see the results from our very first experiment. So we've separated out the meat part from the abalone and the visceral part from the abalone and the activity is in both of those. And what we'd like to do is drill in on what the particular molecules that might be responsible for this activity are so that we could either repurpose that as a drug or at least know where the activity lies when we try to develop this for a commercial product that we could use in people and move towards clinical trials. We'd like to use um, the part of the animal that they throw away anyways in the processing and repurpose that for a medicinal purpose. I think it's very exciting and very promising and something that I had not imagined. Anything uh, natural that, uh, that, that doesn't harm the rest of the body, doesn't have uh, side effects uh, and can help reduce the outcomes and reduce flares will, will be an absolutely fantastic outcome. There's, uh, tens of millions of patients who could potentially benefit from a therapy like this.